Hey guys, I'm Ashley and this is Chip Builds and today we're going to weather this 3D printed Gazer Beam helmet. Okay, so I don't actually have a 3D printer yet to do this, so I got my friend Calvin from the show Making It With Calvin to print this out for me on his Ultramaker. That printer is really great and this came out really nice and um, he what he did was he split the model into a couple different parts and then he glued it all together and he filled it with primer and he sanded it, wet sanded it for me. And then so I got this really nice, basically almost done helmet from him. And all I had to do was add a little bit more paint and weather it. So thanks a lot, dude. The first thing I needed to do after receiving the helmet was to add a few more coats of the metallic blue spray paint. This color is very close to the color in the Incredibles movie and it's super shiny. I then cut a thin piece of Lexan and hit it with a couple coats of lens tint to make the visor portion of the helmet. I should have only done one coat since this came out looking okay, but I could have followed the directions a bit better. Next, I wanted to add some scuffs to the helmet to make it look like it has been worn in combat. I used a countersink drill bit and let it dig into one side of the helmet. This was supposed to represent some bullets hitting the helmet and bouncing off. I then taped off the top portion of the helmet so I could hit the bottom with a metallic silver spray paint. Elsa decided she wanted to help with this part. I should have used an airbrush for this part because the rattle can came out really splotchy. I needed to paint the logo on the front so I used some rub and buff to get the color on. It's super cool and a little bit of this goes a long way. The only downside is that it is a little bit pricey. Now it was on to the fun part, the weathering process. I first took some of the rub and buff and put it in some of the other little divots in the helmet. I then came back with a very watery red paint to fill in the holes on the side of the helmet. After that, I used a black wash, which is a tiny bit of paint mixed with a lot of water to paint in the nooks and crannies of the helmet to make it look worn. I would paint some on and then immediately use a paper towel to wipe as much of it off as I could. This way, the paint was only in the places where dirt would be. There was an imperfection in the front of the helmet due to the 3D printing process and I decided to just use that as part of the weathering process for this helmet and it ended up being a happy accident. I kept adding more and more paint to this and a little bit goes a long way so I finally just had to stop myself because it was getting too ridiculous. I wanted to keep the shiny look of the metallic blue paint even though this was a distressed helmet. So I hit the thing with a couple coats of gloss clear coat to protect it and seal up all the paint. Once that was dry, I used hot glue to hold the visor into place. Well guys, overall this was a lot of fun to make. It is a little bit small. It's definitely made for a child. Uh, if I printed it about 5% bigger, it might be better. 
The files for this helmet I got from the Broken Nerd. Uh, he's really cool. He makes some cool helmets. And uh, for some of the weathering techniques like this, this is just an imperfection from the 3D printing process. So I use it to my advantage. And then over here, uh, I used a countersink bit just to make some grooves. And it kind of looks like he's been shot at maybe or he ran into something. So uh, overall, it's a lot of fun. So if you like this video, I have a bunch of other videos on my channel. So please consider checking them out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks. Thank you.